all right so uh, welcome back to another new devlog video for the game i work on there have been quite a few changes since the last time mainly because you know i was away and had to work on a shittier laptop didn't really want to record any of that because um, it was pretty slowish compared to my main pc and uh, yeah i mean you know we can talk about um, the changes that i've made but um, yeah also what i found out was man the bev is actually or i guess the uh, rust compiler is actually really slow i haven't noticed that because uh, like it takes it a couple of seconds on this computer like we can modify something in uh, in here to force it to recompile and if we just rerun this thing it takes like five seconds or something to run it but yeah bro like on on my laptop it was taking like one minute or maybe even more really painful so uh, yeah like uh, maybe the first thing that you are gonna notice is like the terrain graphics has changed and uh, i did this because it was becoming really slow like we had low fps with the previous method the new method is still really similar it will uh, run a purling noise to generate the terrain and instead of doing it really fine grained to get those smooth edges that we were getting before i decided to just use you know the values for each tile uh, like each tile has a height value and then i have textures i guess it's easier to see how that will work if we use something like GIMP and actually modify the images so let me just go to for example yeah I have three uh, textures one for the water one for the grass and one I call it like barren land so it's uh, like this is a normal grass and this is barren land and how it works I guess you know first first let's let's see how the textures work right so if we open up grass and let's say we I mean I, I can make it larger it doesn't really matter but we can add stuff on it right and if we export it, it would be pretty cool to see that yeah it actually has <laughs> this weird stuff I mean yeah of course because it's like really low pixels it's gonna have this weird scaling effect like we should probably use a scaling mode i forgot how it's called probably we'll see you know when you scale images it says the interpolation right to none or something um, but you know the other option is to have larger textures but for now i went with really basic ones because don't really care about the graphics for now right i think it's more important to get the gameplay going so um yeah i use purling noise to generate the terrain right and we have like water grass and barren land and then for the trees like, i like the way way function collapse work but it was extremely slow so how i changed this one was to use purling noise obviously but with another seed right so it looks different than the terrain and i also use like the poronoi whatever uh, things to create like groups right so there'll be like groups of resources the shape is going to be taken from purling noise i think the new resources look decent i mean and yeah obviously like the the graphics for resources again is like work in progress and uh, i mean you know like i wanted to say earlier like the difference between um, normal grass and barren land is that here we have normal trees you know and on barren land I'm, I'm planning to have like not snow trees but you know dead trees this is <laughs> the graphics i have currently so we have to deal with that and the stones i mean i think it it looks decent uh, like sure it misses some stuff uh, for example being able to place buildings and um, i i did uh, this shader around the, the building to show where where you can place them so for example in, you cannot place them uh, in trees but you can place them like for example here and then you have a little person that is gonna go and bring trees back to the the building and i mean there's no pathfinding and anything it's just going to interpolate between the positions but uh, it, if it works you know uh, for the moment but you know obviously there are some bugs with this it only works uh, only one building because if we place two buildings on the same resource patch it's gonna probably bug when it tries to bring the same tree so we need to find another resource patch for the next one and yeah obviously when you don't have enough resources it's gonna just uh, do it with red i don't have that explicitly so again like customizing the buildings a bit more with uh, the amount of resources that you have to spend like maybe some uh, when you hover over it it shows you some 
some stuff but yeah like this and yeah i mean um, the buildings <laughs> right a tent for uh, you know just uh, just temporary graphics i guess it's uh yeah this guy's gonna mine stone and um yeah i guess the main main um objective of the game right to to reach the quota in uh, in this amount of time and uh yeah i guess let's um you know use the features debug because in debug mode i also have i like see it takes couldn't really tell you but for sure it feels less than one minute because honestly if, you know it would take more than a couple of seconds to compile i mean probably it's like deal breaker to use rust for game development I mean, since for me it takes like a couple of seconds i don't see it as a problem well actually i cannot change the time from here so um let's actually yeah and i also have to refactor the code a bit because i mean you know i really hacked everything together so mm, yeah maybe actually let's try to uh cargo build i don't know if this is how you do it but what five seconds uh, like it it's um to me it's fine but imagine like taking one minute and you have to let me just place a couple of buildings oh no and yeah when when the time ru time runs out and you don't have the quota it's gonna say you didn't but we don't have the you lost and it kills the game but let's let's increase the number of resources by cheating and uh, now it should say congratulations right and it also subtracts the amount of resources so right and each time you pass a level the the quota increases now um, you know i don't know how to uh, make uh, good progression but this uh, this seems fine for now and uh yeah like see we we spawn okay it's gonna, it's gonna be annoying so let me just go back to 600 yeah like the the way we spawn the chunks so it's a bit smoother when you move around <clears throat> is to have this uh, larger grid of chunks that spawn around you and you can only see like three by three i guess radius of three and then that loads quite fast and when you go out of, out of bounds, it's you know, gonna generate around you more and more. So yeah, it's gonna be a bit more efficient this way. Right? Like you, I mean, not necessarily like it's gonna run faster, but it's gonna predict where you are trying to go. So it's gonna be a bit smoother. I mean, I haven't really measured the FPS, but honestly, it feels fine. Honestly, so and uh, yeah, I guess this is the radius where a building can uh, get resources from so yeah i guess you know next steps would be to get down more buildings maybe have uh, like larger buildings not necessarily one by ones you know for the more important ones and yeah i mean the code needs a bit um, more attention but also like a better camera because this one is like a hack on top of uh, of the current camera that we are using and yeah obviously the enemies would be important to have and probably you know having units that you can actually select and move around that's that's to come in in the next ones right so but uh, i guess that for now we have like the the main logic of the game right like you have to place buildings to get resources and to pay the quota and yeah like probably the the first thing that i noticed is that maybe the resources is way too simple so maybe what we actually need to do is okay you can collect snow stone and wood and then maybe use some kind of um, marketplace to oh it went through water to um, generate the coins and then pay with coins the quota right like maybe that's a better way to do it because like this way all the buildings are gonna have the same price you cannot really make well i guess you can because you can run out of wood resource yeah, i think it makes more sense to have uh, like at least two resources and also the food let's not forget about the food right so we are gonna have probably stone wood and some kind of food like maybe greens or something I, I guess food is not really that the main goal of the game so it can be one kind even though you have like hunters and farms and stuff it's gonna be just food but yeah i feel like the resources could be more types and then you have a marketplace where you exchange the resources for coins and then with the coins you pay the quota it makes also it makes it more uh, let's say uh, similar to little company because that's also how you do it there right you get stuff and then you uh, sell it for coins and you pay with that so um, yeah i guess um, you know the see if we can make the bug uh, happen it like if you 
have two guys going for the same resource is gonna crash so okay yeah <laughs> because uh, you know i don't check anything basically i just do it so that it works you know so um, yeah we that's like in my plan right for uh, so you know we actually managed to do version 2 i'll delete this stuff and then for v3 i'm gonna write down again like what i think we we need but no i think that v2 was a bit faster because you know implementing the initial features is simple but now we have to actually make them work properly because uh, everything is a bit hacked and uh, also to add more stuff on top of it so you know it's gonna take more time but i'm gonna try to you know because probably it's not that interesting to have every day about uh, the game maybe like once a week we can make an update and um, i'll do like if i find interesting stuff while uh, programming in the game repo i can try to make like project from scratch where we can explore that thing because i think that's more interesting because there's no no other dependencies we just make it from zero we can even make it like in other languages because you know the logic of doing um, of doing something probably is not related to like doing it in rust or something it's gonna be like okay let's try to implement uh, a star pathfinding right for the human and other stuff like that so we'll try to do it like that and probably have like a weekly devlog to see the progress on the game and then uh, random topics uh, when uh, when i find interesting topics right so so um i guess for the update that is pretty much all and uh, yeah i guess this was like probably days up to 100 so maybe you know for day 100 you know, like this was pretty cool right to get to 100 days so of coding every day i mean almost probably there was some some like two or three days where i wasn't able to code but uh, yeah like how about 95 percentage plus you know pretty good ratio so um yeah you know i um, probably will see in uh, the next random topic i guess probably we'll have a random topic before the next uh, game dev log we'll see in that one so see you